Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is very exciting. Most of our episodes are extremely exciting. A lot of times things go wrong, but today nothing's gonna go wrong. Nothing, we're just gonna have an awesome time and this tundra behind me is going to finally look like a man. It's going to become a man. It's going to grow some balls. And by balls I mean 37 inch tires and a three inch lift and relation race wheels. It's going to be badass. It's been sitting on these skinny little stock tires for far too long, but in the back of the truck I've got all of my Relation race wheels loaded up. I got the RR7s, which are super badass looking. I have them on the crawler, and uh, this truck's going to transform today. I'm very excited. We're going to be driving down to the Overland Truck Store today, and they are going to be doing the, the work and I'm gonna help them. That way I know it's gonna get done properly. These trucks have a ton of electronics and sensors and stuff like that, and so doing the work myself, I love to do the work myself, I really do. It's just that, well, we've seen how that turns out with my Toyota Tacoma, which still has four-wheel drive issues. I'm just waiting for the bus to come pick up Sterling, and, um, and then we'll, uh, we'll be on our way. We missed the bus. Hmm. I don't know, we came out here too late. We've been sitting here for like 20 minutes. I'm like, where's the bus? On the channel, I've been talking about uh, how I became independent and financially free in 15 months and sort of my life since leaving the fire service and uh, how much has changed and you know what we like about it and what we don't like about it. And one of the things I just want to point out that I love about just being my own boss is that these little type of hiccups in your day there's no stress, like it doesn't matter. It's not like, oh my God, I have to get to the fire station, I'm gonna be late, like who's gonna take Sterling to school? We missed the bus, what are we gonna do? Pulling your hair out, starting your day off like that. That never happens. I mean, there's a lot of stress that's sort of deleted from your life when you don't have a boss and you're kind of just on your own, doing your own thing. And so, uh, in these moments like this, I'm able to, to be a good dad and to be able to take Sterling to school and have no stress, and uh, dude, that is just super awesome. See you later. Alright boys, we made it. Here we are. This place is like Disneyland for overlanders. Dude, I haven't done KO2s in a long time. I'm excited. I got nothing to ready to lift shit. Yeah. Which is kind of ghetto, I mean. It is super ghetto, but, but once Dobinson comes out with the uh, with the real stuff, then we'll just, we'll just upgrade. I'm very excited for the Dobinson stuff. Everyone I talk to says they are just super high quality. I normally go with KM3s, but I ended up going with KO2s, 37 inch KO2s. And that's because this truck is gonna be more of the long distance family hauler overlander, and not so much like the off-road truck. Of course, it's always gonna be off-road capable, be able to go on dirt roads, you know, aggressive trails, that kind of stuff. And the KO2s are the perfect tire for that. But I'll be able to save a little bit of gas mileage and the tire should last longer, being that it's a, a hybrid tire. Just wheels. Just wheels. Hopefully we got the right ones. You got a spare wheel too. Yeah. Did you get a spare wheel? I did. Yeah. Should be five boxes unless I lost one on the freeway. I yep, got we're four good. wheels. Tires. I can't wait to watch this truck transform. It's going to go from those little baby tires to suddenly a beefy, manly truck. It's going to transform it. I know it. All of the Tundras I've seen, as soon as they're lifted on 37s, it's a complete game changer. So I'm so glad that I brought it to the Overland Truck Store because they do wheels and tires and lifts and pretty much all your installs. So. We're gonna go through all of our parts here and just check, make sure that we have everything that we need. Um, like I said, I got a kit from Dobinson's. We have these three-way adjustable series monotube shocks for the rear. Um, these are essentially Land Cruiser coils uh, for the rear as well. There should be a Panhard bar somewhere. Wheels from Relation Race Wheels. Let's go ahead and open all of this up and uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Goodness. We got our 
adjustable dial there. Clicks nicely. Those are going to be awesome. Super beefy. Relation race wheels here. I haven't seen them yet. It should be pretty similar to what's on my crawler. That's so sick. Oh, here it is. Perfect. Chunky, look at that thing. It's huge. My only gripe is that they used like purple here. Ooh, I, and then I like, like that purple though. You like the purple. I, like I don't dislike the purple, it's just like their color schemes all over the place. Like you got purple here and then you got like these teal green. You want to pan them real quick? <laughs> look at the size of these. So this will this is my first truck that's on a uh, coil spring rear and if you look under there, the coil springs are real short, they're kind of tiny. This should give it a three and a half inch lift, a three inch lift, I think, um, depending on how much weight's in the bed. And again, these are just Land Cruiser coils, so you can get these relatively quick. One of the cool things about the internet is you get to see the different ways that uh, everybody builds their trucks out, you know? And so far, I haven't seen anyone run this kit yet, so I'm excited to see how it compares to some of my buddies who also have Tundras. The shock can open up. From what I can tell by just looking at these, they're extremely high quality. And then for the front, we're just gonna be installing these Pro Comp, I think this is a one or two inch spacer, I gotta double check it. But it's just enough to get the front lifted up so we can clear these 37s. Again, as soon as Dobinson comes out with their coilovers, which I think they're going to be coming out pretty soon, we'll go ahead and pull these out and replace them. But I just didn't wanna wait any longer. I've been waiting forever to try to get this truck lifted. Jets off like a chub, dude. You know? <laughs> Watch out. It's really easy to remove that thing. Oh, that's not even a full piece. It's just a. Just hack that. Hey, it's it's got a body right mount behind it. This is just so people can't do 37s on them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is, it's like an unnecessary rub. Yeah. Like rubbing point that they put there just yeah. to stop you from putting oversized tires. Well, because we'll have to take this one off, right? Yeah. Well, we're gonna cut some shit off today. Matchless truck. Yeah. Just to follow up with everybody though, a few months ago we went and added this CBI skid plate that goes from the bumper almost halfway back. Covers up your differential here and pretty cool. What they need to do is get something that, that uh, protects your cat though, since tweakers like to steal the cats out here. Really unnecessary. Look at this skinny little, skinny little shock. This is going to be a good upgrade for sure. So right now, Phil's lopping off this, uh, it looks like a steering limiter or something. It's very similar to like the cab mount or the body mount, like on a Tacoma, but it doesn't seem to serve any function. So we're gonna cut it out of the way just to avoid having had lifted the whole truck and then go to steer it on 37s and have a bunch of rubbing problems there. 
Personally, I don't care. It's not like it's going to void warranty. What I've found from Toyota is that they don't even notice these type of things. So if you're gonna take it in there, as long as you cut it off, smooth it over really well, paint it, you're never gonna notice it and you're gonna be happy that you did it. So I would suggest just doing a lot of cutting. I've always just done a bunch of cutting. Cut it away, get it out of there, get it out of the way and, uh, and you'll be happy for it because you won't have to deal with the rubbing. There's nothing worse than the gah, 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 rubbing sound when you're trying to, when you're trying to drive it off road. Or even when you're just trying to get around the mall, you know? Cruising the mall. <clears throat> Seems like such a pointless nut. It is, because there's metal behind it. I mean, you know, it's just engineered, right? Yeah, exactly. Well, we can sand that down. Yeah, quite sure. Yeah, that's... All it is, it's just literally just to stop, just to, to prevent, prevent you. you from putting tires on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Thanks a lot, Toyota. Just adding to our workload. Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like the 200 series Land Cruisers. It looks the same, really. Which is probably why you use the those coils. Mm -hmm. yep. You probably just took that and stuck it in the tundra. Pull it up. Yep. Pull it. Go up. Oh, look at it compared to the uh, Dobinsons. Is that how you oh. say it? Is it Dobinsons? I have the hardest time. Dobinsons. Dobinsons. You can't say any words right. Dobinsons. <laughs> <laughs> it's my Canadian descent. Dude. It's a guessing game with what you fucking say. <laughs> the South Canadian accent. I was just so confused as a child. I didn't know what to, how to pronounce anything. Mothed? We got those mothed wheels? Mothed. I did not say mothed. There's <laughs> Tahuya. Tahoya. Tahoya. Where? Oh, is this the right one? That's the left hand. Oh yeah, they mark it, so there's that. It matters which side it goes on? Yeah. Wow, different preloads for, <laughs> so colorful. Dude, it feels super pretty. This one might be the hard one because it's fucking arms in the way. Yeah. Fucking give her a good squeeze. Sometimes you just got to squeeze. Give her a squeeze. Scale on my worst night on the best wouldn't mess with you couldn't cap to him homie spotted me like 700 brought 1100 right back to him if i can't do it then it ain't real i just make dollars i don't make deals i've been going hard in the paint still blowing kush clouds till i can't feel like ride with me if you ride with me you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five sticky come get high with me that's a deal right ride with me. Got it. I did the whole lift. I just, yeah, I lifted my thunder today. <laughs> yeah, it kind of pinches the two together to hold the hold the reservoir on. Technique. I can get a job with that shot now. No, you can't. Oh. Those look so good. Oh, oh, I have shit. Oh, yeah, they want to work now that you say fake. God damn, look at that. Oh, baby. 
Keep going. Oh, it's going. Oh, so much better. Looks like a real truck. Sexy. So the guys are just wrapping up the final like lug nut tightening and getting everything to torque specs. And oh my God, man, it's, it's fucking a completely different truck. It looks so much better. Uh, it like suddenly looks like a real truck. I'm, of course, it's a lift. It's lift day. And who doesn't love getting your truck lifted? But wow, this truck was like made to be lifted. It, they look like, in my opinion, they look ridiculous on their stock wheels and tires. And I had just started to get kind of used to it. But I'm so freaking happy with it. I'm really glad I went with the KO2s instead of KM3s. I love KM3s, nothing against them. I just love the, I love the Baja look of this right now. I'm so happy with it. I can't wait for them to roll it out. Huge thanks to the Overland Garage. If you guys aren't aware of who the Overland Truck Store is, they're here in Bremerton. They sell used off-road trucks and cars, the Subarus, Toyotas, Land Cruisers, a lot of rare stuff. Really, really cool guys. And they also have a shop called the Overland Garage where they do lift kits, wheels, tires, all sorts of stuff. So they do mount and balance wheels and tires. They do it all. Really, really awesome guys and they do good work. So they got this thing slapped out real quick. Um, yeah, I'm stoked about it. Can't wait to drive it. Really loving the black on silver look. I just went with black wheels from Relation Race Wheels, but uh, it looks really good. It turned out awesome. The next step for this truck is to get a winch mounted in the CBI bumper. CBI just released this chip that we need to put in it. There's so many computers in these trucks, so it has an issue where this air dam thing needs to be fooled into thinking that it's still operable. And so I've been hesitant to put a winch in there because otherwise I have a check engine light. You guys know my history with check engine lights. I just don't want to risk it, so I don't want to miss an actual check engine light if I have a light on. But thank God CBI figured that out. This episode is brought to you by CBI, who make really top quality bumpers for off-road trucks, Jeeps, Broncos, Toyotas. I have them on my Toyota Tacoma. I have all of their armor here, their skid plate, which you saw earlier, their bumper and I have a Prince rack. So be sure to click the link below, check out CBI Off-Road Fab. I know that you guys will find something that you'll like, and uh, yeah, it helps me out a ton when you use those links. So I'm getting my uh, truck aligned at this local shop before I drive because I'm so far away from home. I want to make sure that I kind of keep my tires in shape. And I just went in there real quick, talked with them. They got like this, I don't know what you call it. It's like an, I think, I think it's like an African eye, eye, eye something. It's a weird deer with giant horns, it's huge. It's crazy looking. We'll just grab this, uh, get this thing aligned. I am so excited about how it looks. The truck is like completely transformed. It's a totally different truck. And now I feel bad for talking so much shit about it because it's like, it's riding really well, it feels really good, it's got good power, it looks good. Mmm. Mmm. Alright, so as you can see, the Tundra behind me looks so much better. It looks incredible. It's huge. I mean, you, don't, you wouldn't think that a three and a half inch lift in the back would make it so tall, but look at this. I'm like six, three and a half, six, four. And this tailgate is way up there. But uh, the front, it definitely, it's raked, it's raked out a little bit because we just have that one inch puck in the front. Until I get some upper control arms and some actual coilovers for the front, that's about all I'm willing to do, because otherwise you kind of risk snapping the, uh, the bottom of your struts off. And I've seen it happen, and I don't want to do that. So the truck's just going to have to be a little raked out for a little bit. It's not a big deal. It looks really, really good. But what I'm really impressed with is actually the ride quality. It doesn't feel anything like a truck that's just been lifted. Oftentimes when you lift a truck, they're super, super stiff at first, but this thing just glides along, it feels really good. I'm actually really, really surprised. And in fact, if I didn't know better, you, you can't even tell there's a puck up front. And I mean, I'm not one to normally suggest pucks, but it rides so well, I don't know why you'd really need much else. Those big tires are gonna get you through just about everything this truck's going to have to face. So I'm really, really happy with it. The truck is uh, it's looking good. We got the deck system in there. 
Relation race wheels, 37 inch KO2s, which were so quiet by the way, super quiet. I haven't, I haven't run KO2s in a long time and they are just like so nice. The Dobinson's lift adjustable. The bumper in the front from CBI looks really good. We'll be getting a winch soon. This truck's come a really long ways. I'm really, really happy with it. To be honest, uh, I think everything that's brand new, like right off the lot, uh, first generation is gonna have little issues and bugs and hopefully they'll, they'll work those out. Um, but I'm really, really happy with it now that it's lifted. It looks really good. And I really love how these wheels stanced out. They're just perfect. Again, these are from Relation Race Wheels. As far as ride quality goes, super smooth. It drives very, very well. I, it doesn't feel like a boat or anything. And I really didn't notice a difference in um, like torque or anything like that. Miles per gallon did come down. I haven't done like any official tests or anything, but obviously it's gonna come down. Those wheels and tires are pretty heavy, but the truck being that it's that turbocharged V6, it, it really goes. I mean, they put a lot of power in these things and I honestly didn't really notice the wheels and tires all that much. Um, it, it feels just as good. I mean, beforehand, if you punched it, you would just lose traction. I mean, now you don't. I mean, I still was peeling them out a little bit. I bet you could burn these off if you wanted to. It's pretty gnarly. It's a... All together, I'm feeling a lot happier with the truck, and I'm liking it a lot more. So... <clears throat> Later this week, I'll be adding a really cool solar panel on the hood uh, from Cascadia Solar. That's going to be super cool. Um, I got some stuff going on the Tacoma pretty soon, so stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you're feeling so inclined, please subscribe because that helps me out a bunch. If you're looking to have your vehicle lifted or you're doing any maintenance or modifications on it and you're in the Washington area, make sure you check out the Overland Truck Store and the Overland Garage, which is where I went to get this done. And they just did a phenomenal job. Took them no time at all. It doesn't rub much at all. It rubs a little bit at full lock. You can feel it rubbing on some plastic, but I think it's just here. And I can, I mean, I can lop that off or change that up, but it doesn't like, it doesn't like aggressively rub or even stop. You can just sort of feel it feathering that plastic. So all in all, it turned out really, really good. And I'm very happy with it. I can't wait to, get the coilovers in the front from Dobinson's. But yeah, very, very pleased. Happy I went with black wheels. Those black Relation Race wheels look really good. I might put a silver ring on them. I think that would be kind of cool. But yeah, tune in the channel for more stuff, more projects, more life advice, all sorts of stuff like that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Get some work done this week, but don't forget to live. Bye.